There is no program on television quite like wrestling. It's a form of entertainment that likes to save the best for last, as the main events are usually where the most chaos takes place. He's a piranha that could be our next world champion. Spear. Not this way! Not this way! Damn it. Today, we're highlighting the most insane ways episodes came to a close by looking at 15 crazy endings to a wrestling show. Wait a minute! Triple H! Oh, it's WCW was at its best in 1997. Some of the endings to Nitro that year rival Attitude Era Raw's in terms of grandstand finishes. Most of them involve Sting during his year-long feud with the New World Order and Hollywood Hogan. Sting on his way to the ring to show up anywhere, yes. anytime he wants. He yes. hits all right. He dropped the bat. Wait till I tell Hollywood. Yes. And now he's gone. It was especially fun to see the Stinger perform his trademark repel from the ceiling spot. One of the most insane Nitro moments occurred on the June 9th show from 97, when Sting came to the rescue of Diamond Dallas Page, who'd been brawling with the NWO in the ring. Sting, while still fighting off other wrestlers, proceeded to hook up DDP to a harness and lift Page off into the sky. In my life, Sting has arrived! What's he doing? Sting's trying to revive him. He's still holding him off! Oh my goodness! Sting. There are numerous crazy Nitro endings that don't involve Sting, however. Who could forget when Goldberg challenged Hollywood Hogan for the WCW Championship on July 6, 1998? It was one of World Championship Wrestling's greatest nights, as the 41,000 in attendance at the Georgia Dome went nuts for Goldberg defeating the Hulkster. Even though WWE's version of WCW as part of the Alliance faction in 2001 was lackluster, the storyline still featured some memorable segments. such as during the main event of the final SmackDown before Survivor Series. The tag match pitting Chris Jericho and The Rock against Kurt Angle and Stone Cold saw interference from all the other wrestlers in the upcoming winner-take-all 5-on-5 five -five elimination match. What transpired was an incredible sequence of finishing moves performed one after the other. It was the perfect go-home angle for such a huge pay-per-view match. It's no surprise this is commonly referred to as the best SmackDown ending ever. The Invasion storyline gave us a taste of what different brands battling against each other would look like, something that would become more common in the years after the Raw and SmackDown rosters were split. With ECW also making a return. But we want to go back to the very first time Raw and SmackDown superstars clashed on television. It occurred during the 2004 draft lottery when Triple H challenged Eddie Guerrero for the WWE Championship. The match ended prematurely after interference from Evolution led to SmackDown wrestlers making the save. This led to a mass brawl between wrestlers from both shows. Resulting in a fun and chaotic end to the broadcast. Oh, hell is broken!
There's nothing like a spectacular wrestling return. There have been countless great returns that closed out shows. Feel the disdain. Oh my god! The dead man! What? We've settled on two for this list, starting with a build to WrestleMania 2000. The Rock took on the Big Show, where if the Great One was victorious, he would be added to WrestleMania's main event. But if the People's Champ lost, then we would never see The Rock again. Special ref Shane McMahon was about to screw the Brahma Bull out of the match until a limo pulled up. Vince McMahon made his first appearance since the night following Armageddon 1999, after Stephanie had aligned with Triple H. Vince was out for blood. <laughs> He threw on Shane's ref shirt to help The Rock get the win. It was a trademark Attitude Era Raw grand finale. A month prior to Vince's comeback, there was another memorable return that happened after one of the all-time great Raw main events. The legendary 10-man tag in Dallas on February 7, 2000 was a fast-paced, all-action classic. <laughs> Raw, <laughs> Topped off by the return of the Big Red Machine. It was one of the many times Kane wreaked havoc to end a show. As well as returns, there's also been plenty of great debuts that closed out episodes of Raw and SmackDown. But perhaps no debut on television sent shockwaves through WWE more than when the Nexus interrupted the main event of the June 7, 2010 Raw between John Cena and CM Punk. The faction, consisting of competitors from the first season of NXT, attacked anyone in sight and destroyed the ringside area in a way no one had ever seen before. John Cena, Watch out! Oh my god! It was as if a bomb had gone off. At the same time, it was the most shocking thing seen on WWE TV in years. The way the ring was decimated during Nexus's debut was unprecedented, but it drew some parallels to a spot from the summer of 2003, where Brock Lesnar took on the big show in a bout that resulted in one of SmackDown's most famous moments. A near 800 pound combined superplex from the top rope completely imploded the ring. It was surreal to witness the carnage while the fans went bananas. A 500 pound super superplex! The closest thing to anything like this happening prior was when Big Show upended the square circle whilst wrestling as the giant for WCW. This has never been done in our sport! Ever. Ever. Unbelievable! 
Dragon. Or when the sheer amount of ECW fans invading the ring caused it to collapse. Both incidents were just two more crazy ways a wrestling show came to an end. We go from the ring imploding to a real controlled explosion on a wrestling show. It happened at the end of the June 11, 2007 edition of Raw, the Vince McMahon Appreciation Night. In the weeks leading up to this event, Vince had been acting strangely. WrestleMania 24 and there's our chairman, Mr. McMahon. Topped off by the end segment to Vince Appreciation Night, where McMahon chose not to cut a promo, leaving the mic in the ring, then awkwardly walking backstage past everyone. Before entering his limo to leave, Vince scripted himself to be blown up as a way of being written off TV, but the culprit of the crime was never revealed due to the Benoit family tragedy. This forced McMahon to reappear on television, officially cancelling the limo explosion storyline. Tonight's storyline was to have been the alleged demise of my character, Mr. McMahon. WWE superstar Chris Benoit is his wife Nancy and their son Daniel are dead. The exploding limo angle is infamous not just for how insane it was, but also because of the tragic real life events that came directly after. We'll now look instead at a metaphorical explosion that set the wrestling world alight in 2011, as the summer of punk began with CM Punk's iconic pipe bomb segment that followed John Cena's table match loss to R Truth. Punk sat cross legged on the ramp and cut a scathing shoot style promo where he called out Cena, The Rock, Triple H, Stephanie, and Vince McMahon. There's one thing you're better at than I am and that's kissing Vince McMahon's ass. I don't know if you're as good as Dwayne though he's a pretty good ass kisser. Maybe this company will be better after Vince McMahon's dead but the fact is it's it's gonna get taken over by his idiotic daughter and his doofus son-in-law and the rest of his stupid family. The incident created tremendous buzz and paved the way for a now red hot punk to hold the WWE title for over a year. Our last two examples have seen Vince put on blast in different ways, but now we're going to look at when the chairman was riding high one minute and then shot down the next. This occurred on the March 26, 2001 simulcast edition of Raw and Nitro when Vince spoke to the world after purchasing WCW. The chairman was in the midst of his celebratory promo on Raw when he was interrupted on the other show by Sun Shane, who would reveal the true owner of WCW. And the name on the contract does say McMahon, Shane McMahon. Vince certainly felt betrayed by his son, and he wouldn't be the only person in history to be stabbed in the back at the end of a roar. That's the man's wife! What the hell are you people thinking here? Out on their feet! On a man! But perhaps the most famous betrayal to close out the red brand occurred on June 2nd, 2014, after The Shield had defeated Evolution twice on pay-per-view. With just Triple H and Randy Orton left, a plan B was required, and it came in the form of a chair shot heard around the world. There's always a plan B. Oh my god! Batista quitting was a key point in the Rollins turning on the Shield storyline. The turn did wonders for Rollins' career just as it did for Batista when he left Evolution in the dust on the February 21st, 2005 Raw. Fresh off winning the Royal Rumble, the animal was to choose what title he would be challenging for at WrestleMania 21. Dave opted to challenge Triple H for the World Heavyweight title, creating one of the great Raw moments in the process. WrestleMania 21 proved to be Batista's crowning moment, much like WrestleMania 14 was for Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin, they got it! Austin at the champion! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! Stone Cold! The Austin era has begun! But you could argue Austin's face-off with Mike Tyson on the January 19th, 1998 Raw was when the whole world first took note of Stone Cold, as Austin established himself as arguably the baddest motherfucker on the planet by getting in the face of the baddest man on the planet. So here's to ya. The segment was one of many great show endings involving the rattlesnake. Oh my! 
It's a toy! McMahon 316 says I just pissed my pants. Thank you. We've saved now the most iconic WWF Championship wins for last, taking place on the January 4th, 1999 episode of Raw, as rivals Mankind and The Rock clashed with the title on the line. It was a trademark Attitude Era main event with all the belts and whistles, including a legendary run-in from Stone Cold. From the commentary, to the crowd interaction, to the feel-good special moment that was created, it was the perfect storybook ending to a wrestling show. I'd like to dedicate this match to my two little people at home and say, Mikario did it! Now if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our similar video on 10 crazy spots wrestlers refused but were forced to do. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.